Hi everyone, hope you're all well and adapting to all the changes happening so quickly in our world. I know for me, it's very easy for my identity to get caught up in the things I do, like my role as a pastor or the director of a not-for-profit organization, or even as a wife and mother. All these things are awesome parts of my life that I love doing, but they aren't who I am. There's an old worship song by Matt Redman called The Heart of Worship. And the first three lines say this, when the music fades and all is stripped away and I simply come. Who are we when everything is stripped back? What a great question to ask ourselves right now while there are so many changes happening because of the COVID-19 virus. Some of you may have lost your job recently and I am so sorry if you have. Some of you who normally get your bucket filled by having a coffee with a group of women or running around a sporting field with your mates, you're not able to do that. It's so important to remember in these uncertain times when lots of things are being stripped back in our lives, things are changing all around us and what we do is not the core of who we are. As Christians, our identity, the core of who we are should always be embedded in our God, into the one who is never changing, who is the same yesterday, today and forever. John 1.12 says this, Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. You see, we need to make a choice. We can either believe that our identity is based on what we do, or believe that our identity lies in who God says we are. God's acceptance of us, and hence our, our identity, is not defined by our actions. So we will never be a failure when our performance doesn't match our expectations. When we realign the source of our value and worth to its rightful place, we will be free from the ridiculously high expectations we put on ourselves, the opinions of others and the fear of failure in an ever-changing world. We can rest knowing that our Heavenly Father loves us unconditionally. And I believe once we believe this to be truth, our identity will be absolutely unshakable. So now I have a challenge for you. In the comments below, tell us your favorite I am verse, like Romans 8, 17, which says, I am a joint heir with Christ, sharing his inheritance with him. Let's fill the comments section with who God says we are. Be blessed, stay safe, and have a great day.